Do you like getting fat dividend checks month after month, quarter after quarter? I know I do. I'm investing for the long haul and I encourage everyone else to do the same. My name is Dividend Rick. Welcome back to the channel. On my channel, all we talk about is dividend stocks, long-term growth, uh, financial freedom, personal investments to get us prepared for the future. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you find value in what you're watching, we ask that you do subscribe, please, down here. Kings, Dividend Aristocrats, we are going to be buying some more stocks. I got $500 in my Charles Schwab account to invest in some things for this week. So stick around. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, how's that, everybody? How's that look? All right, let's go ahead and first, let's talk about Dividend Kings. Let's click on this bad boy, see if it come up, there it is. So what is a Dividend King? Dividend Kings 2024. I'm gonna sell the Motley Fool. So let's go here. Companies that pay and then grow their dividends every year generally have that sort of characteristic investors should look for. Durable, competitive modes that help generate steady profits year after year. So, a Dividend King is a company that's grown its dividend payment for at least 50 consecutive years. Dividend payments here, more, 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 more every year. So what is a Dividend King? The most exclusive group of dividends that might not be what first comes to mind. Many investors are familiar with dividend aristocrats. Term dividend aristocrat, Treasury trademark of S&P 500. Those stocks are S&P 500. That means Increase their dividend for at least 25 years. Dividend King is 50 years. My bad, I skipped ahead and read too fast. Aristocrat, Aristocrat 25 years, King 50 years. 2024 Dividend Kings. So here's a list of some Dividend Kings. They've been doing their uh, American States Water 69 years, Dover Corporation 68 years. So you go on a Motley Fool, look at it yourself. I really don't have that many of these. I do have Coca Cola here. I don't think I have any of these. Altria, it's it still has a pretty good. Let's click on that bad boy. Let's see what the uh, see what the dividend is on Altria. Altria has a dividend of nine point five percent. Nine point five percent dividend on Altria. But what does Altria do? Cigarettes. We don't do cigarettes. Vaping stuff like that. We don't do all don't do all that nonsense over here. Wasting our money on that junk. But if you want to invest in it, and you know people that continue to vape and all that stuff, then go for it. But if you look at their stock, let's do their five year. Let's look at their five year. They're way up here above $55. They came down to like 30 bucks, went back up to 55. Where are they at now? They are at. $40.91, so over the last year, the last year, they've been steady dropping. You get a fat dividend check, but your price point is dropping. You're not going to make your money back. So eventually, when it comes time to sell, you got a lot of dividends, but you're not really making any money because the price has dropped. Let's go back to the previous page. Let's click on something else. What do we want to click on? Well, we got Target. Target was really good. Let's click on Target. See what Target got for us. Target, they're at $142.31. Let's look at their five year. Five year Target. Five years ago, they were way down here, $72.94. They went way up here during that was August 3rd, 2021. We all we all know what's going on there, don't we? $262 dropped way down over here, October 2023. Let's go to their one-year chart. $105, guys. And now they're back up here at like $142. So they're dividend, 3% dividend, 3%. So that's the long-term growth on the dividend. Um, I'm not going to buy it at this price point because it could drop back down again. I would lose 30 bucks. I don't want to lose 30 bucks, right, guys? All right, let's get out of this. I'll let y'all go through y'all's list over here on the Molly Fool. You can find it on Google. Go through the whole list. I haven't heard of a lot of these companies. Kimberly Clark, Canadian Utilities, some Canada stuff. I'm not invested in that. Lowe's, I got Lowe's in my 401k. 
I got some of for 1K. I think I'm going to buy some Walmart today, though. Walmart is on here. Let's go ahead and click on our other screen, Charles Schwab screen. See what we got. What do we want to invest in today? I got 500 bucks of cash right right there, $548. I think, I think today I'm going to buy, we're going to buy some more Ford. I'm going to click on Ford, Ford Motor Company. What do we want? Well, how much is Ford? Ford's $11.78. Let's look at their dividend. They dropped down today. Let's look at their one year. So one year they're a little low and they came up. $15 came back down. I think my personal thing is for Ford, I think they're going to be here forever. They got a 4.94 dividend. That's pretty good. So 60 cents every year. You're like, 60 cents ain't much. But really it is if you invest a lot into it. It's 4.94%. Uh, expected earnings. You can see here what the expected earnings are. 41 cents per share. Revenue, $174 billion. All right. Let's uh, let's click up here and let's buy some of these bad boys. How many are we going to buy today? $11.78. We should buy 10. Let's buy 10 of these bad boys. 10. Market, because we're dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging every week into the market. We're going to dollar cost average. You view it. There it is. $117. Place order. Close that. Let's go back. What else are we going to buy and why are we going to buy it? So we need to buy some ETFs. So I see here FLQL. I only got 1.63% of my account that is in FLQL. So I want to I want to up that number. They cost $50.20. Let's click on that back. I don't think it has that strong of a dividend, but it has gross potential for a very long time morning start gets a three four three historic return average historic risk below risk below average on risk well, let's see what we got here where is my dividend this is what they're holding microsoft apple amazon video abg broadcom meta uh facebook oh facebook just announced a dividend so that's good Distributions and yields, it's a 1.5% dividend, but this is going to continue to grow over and over and over. Continue to reinvest your money into this bad boy for the long haul. Let's go ahead and pick up two. Let's pick up two of these bad boys today. Buying two at market because we're dollar cost averaging into the market. Buy it $100.41. $100.41, guys. Hundred dollars and forty one cents. Close that. Let's go back. What else are we gonna buy today, guys? What do we want to talk about? What are we gonna buy? What are we gonna buy? We're not buying any more Tesla. I should buy it because it's down a lot. I do have waste management Tesla. Oh, Walmart. Let's go find us a Walmart. Click on here. Walmart. WMT. I don't have any of these, but I need to pick some up. Let's look at the one. Let's look at the one year of Walmart. See what Walmart can get us for on the one year chart. Look at that growth, guys. One hundred thirty six dollars. Now we're up here at uh, one hundred sixty eight. One hundred sixty nine dollars seven cents. Let's look at that dividend. One point three four percent dividend. But Walmart stock is going forever. If you hold this for another 15, 20 years, who knows how high it's going to go. I don't know. You don't know. And if you say no, you're lying. So let's go and pick up. Uh, let's go and pick up. I can only get one share right now this week. Let's go and pick up a share. There it is. Mark the order. One share. Buy. Hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? There it is. Place order. Okay. Place an order. I know the internet's not going crazy. I wonder what's happening. Let's take so. Okay. Good. Close that. Let's go back again. Let's go back to accounts. Positions. Here we are. 
That's more stuff. I think we're gonna buy more than five hundred dollars a week. Might buy a thousand dollars this week. I'll just transfer more money over. Let's see. SPHD is forty one dollars and forty four cents. Let's click on some SPHD. All right. All right. Let's do the one year chart on SPHD. It's about the same. Went down a little bit. Went down. Oh, went down nine percent. Let's do the. Let's do his five-year chart. Yeah, really had a big drop over here, but I think it's going to keep going back up. SPHD. Let's look at the dividend. That's what they're holding. Altria. Yeah, that's that smoking one right there. Ken Morgan, Dominion Energy. Verizon. 4.48%. All right, let's pick up some more of these. How many more are we going to buy at $41.44? We're going to buy, we're going to pick up 10 market order. That's going to be $414, guys. $414 place order. Here we go. All right, and we need to find some more dividend. Let's go back. Let's see if we want to get one of these dividend kings. Dividend king. Dividend king. Pepsi? Let's see what Pepsi did. PEP, $171. Man, that's a high price point. Buy into five year chart. Pepsi climbing. Pe oh, and there's a good dip right there. That good dip dropped it down quite a bit, but it's going to go back up. Dividend yield 3%. PEP. PEP, guys. Let's go to PEP. PEP. PepsiCo. Pep. There it is. Let's click on it. How many Pepsis do we want to buy today? Scroll down here. Yeah, uh, so annual dividend yield 2.96, which is about 3%. $1.27 every quarter. $171. If I bought 10 of those, that would cost me $1,710. I don't want to invest that much right now, but I should. I'm not going to. We're just going to buy, let's buy two. Buy two of those. Market order. There it is. Review it. Place order. Close that bad boy out. Let's go back to uh, accounts. Let's go to balances. It says I got 178000 available to day trade. Not doing that nonsense. Investment income. Let's talk about those dividends, guys. Let's see what kind of dividends I got. So January, I have received $99.27. February, I haven't received any dividends yet, but I will be $73.22. March is going to give me $293.96. And that just continues throughout this rest of the year. That's how it's going to continue over and over. Should get $1,993 a year. By the end of this year, I want that to be $3,000. Portfolio, portfolio performance. Let's check out what we got in our performance year to date. Your account had a cumulative rate of 5.28% from September 6. September 6, when they took my account over from TD Ameritrade, I believe. They bought it. They bought TD Ameritrade. Schwab did. So 5.28% in four or five months really ain't bad. If you did, if you did 12 months, that's probably like 12 or 13%. It's pretty good. S&P 500 is doing really well. I contributed $12,669 to my account. Let's go back to positions. I might want to buy some more. What else do I want to buy? I think that's all I should buy for this week. Guys, I uh, appreciate you stopping by the channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe down there, guys. We should appreciate it. I've recently hit over 1,000 subscribers. That's good. Um... We sure do appreciate it, guys. Uh, I think that's it for this week. I'm going to make another one here in a couple of weeks. So what else? We're going to talk about something else. Talk about growth. Dividends for long haul. I sure do appreciate you guys stopping by. All right, peace.